What's going on? What's going on? How everybody doing? Well, shit, we got one person in the room. What's up? What's up? We're gonna wait until we get some more people in here. But uh get some more people in here. That one down. How you doing? How you doing? Hit the like button since you uh since you in the room. What's good? What you got four people? That's what's up. How y'all doing? Happy Friday, everybody. Make sure y'all hitting that like button as y'all step into the room. And uh, feel free to answer that question. I think this will be a good topic to help, you know, help some of the fish keepers. You know, um, we all deal with these fish diseases and, you know, we all have different methods of taking care of them. So I think this will be a good topic that we all can learn something from. Definitely me myself, because, you know, I have some issues with a couple of these different diseases and uh, I would love to have y'all feedback. And I'm sure if I need it, I'm sure somebody else could use it as well. So like I said, make sure y'all hitting that like button while y'all come into the room. Did y'all check out what the uh, what the topic of the day is? Everybody's silent, spectating, sitting here in the room. Y'all at least get, get, get them fingers working. Hit that like button since y'all here. There we go. Darth Reddy, what's going on? Epsom salt only for all diseases. You use Epsom salt for every single disease. You don't switch it up. Anybody else? We got Epsom salt only. So that means for a hole in the head disease. That means for internal parasites. That means for ick, all Epsom salt. Nope, that's what I'm asking you. What else do you use? How do you treat it? That's the topic. Come on, Darth Raider. You know how we do this. You gotta elaborate. You gotta you gotta talk to me, man. I'll talk back. That's it. Okay. How has that worked for you? Does it treat the um internal parasites successfully? Does it treat the hole in the head successfully? Anybody else? Come on, y'all. Come on, man. I know it's Friday. I know it was a long week. I know y'all tired. Uh, talk to me. Not the parasite. Okay, I'm pulling teeth. You have me pulling teeth, Darth Raider. You have me pulling teeth, man. Swift, what's going on? What's going on? We got 10 people in the room, five likes. Can we get those likes up to 10? Can we get those likes up? If you haven't liked the, if you haven't liked the video or like this uh, chat, go ahead and hit that like button. There we go. 15 people, six likes. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, man? Happy Friday, man. Let's get to, let's get active, man. Let's get you a drink, get your smoke, get you some coffee, get whatever you need. But let's get this chat going. Let's do this. Let's get this thing cracking. Dave, how's the pond doing? The pond is going all right. The pond is going all right. Just did a big cleaning on it the other day. It's looking good. 15 people, nine likes. Could we get those likes up to 15? And while y'all come into the chat, answer the question. I want to know how do y'all treat hole in the head disease, internal parasites, and ick? How do y'all deal with these different diseases that your fish could possibly get? We try to make sure that we uh, that we help one another. I just uh, disclosed I have a problem with treating hole in the head. Um, I buy the general cure from API. That shit don't work. And then I've also tried for internal parasites, Prazi Pro. Don't work. Um, yeah, I've I have I've have I'm I, I'm losing. I'm I'm like O in whatever number for the internal parasites. I, I lose every time with the internal parasites. Hole in the head, I've successfully treated it a couple times with, with a general cure. But for the most part, you know, it don't work. Ick, I'm, I'm, I'm on top of ick. I got it covered. You know, I raise the temperature. Um, I use an Epsom salt. Um, I use, I got ick X. I got um, some parasite remedy. Uh, I have um, super ick. You know, I have a lot of different methods to cure ick. Ick isn't really much of a problem. But internal parasites and hole in the head. Definitely one that's not that uh that easy to cure. 
Amir, how my Oscar fish didn't eat for weeks, but active. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yeah, so uh, the comment, the question, the question for everybody, all 14 people. The question is, how do you treat hole in the head disease, internal parasites, and ick? Have y'all experienced that? How do you treat it? That's what I like to know. Anybody? Come on now, I'll talk back. Sidebar, I'm about to get rid of that, that horn shark. I'm taking that horn shark back to the store tomorrow. Still not eating, and uh, for $275. I'm not about to keep taking that chance. And then all of a sudden, you know, he dies. So he's going right back. I'll pick up some other fish. I'll probably grab um, a purple tang and a um, magnificent fox face rabbit fish. Or even an angel. Ain't no telling. One of them. Or actually two of them. It has to be two. Has to be two in order for it to be worth it. But I'm not keeping that horn shark. That, that thing got to go. I tried everything. I spent probably about seventy dollars in the last couple of days trying to buy different foods to feed them. I brought, I bought hat clams in a half shell. I bought silver sides. I bought uh, the chunky frozen diet that that they sell for um, packaged up for the fish. I bought um, octopus. I bought, I bought um, squid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm not buying the sea urchins. I'm not doing that. I'm not buying um, crabs. He did eat one clam out of the half shell. He ate one, but I'm cool, man. I'm cool. I'm not. I'm not even about to. I'm not taking that chance. Ain't no way. He's good right now. Looks the same way he did when I got him. He could go back. Mickey Senior. Uh, raise a temp in the tank. All right, so we're talking about for which one? For the ick, definitely raise a temp in the tank. What about for a hole in the head and internal parasites? This comment must not, y'all must not like uh, this conversation right here. I'm over here pulling teeth. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? It was a long week, y'all. What's up? What's up? Nonetheless, I appreciate y'all for stopping through, though. That's a fact. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. We got nine people now. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Park, I keep my cichlid solo in the 75, so I can't remember the last time I had any problems. That's great, but that's not how you get problems. You know, that's not how you get problems. Um, you don't have to add other fish to have problems, you know. You could keep the same fish in the tank and all of a sudden the problem will rise. So uh, I'm glad you haven't had any problems, but yeah, that's not how it really goes. Mickey Senior never had hole in the head problems. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you haven't. Yeah, my Oscar fish, my Oscar fish is by himself and he's had hole in the head for, for a while now. Um, not my Oscar, I'm sorry. Um, Drax, my flower horn. So my flower horn has had hole in the head for some months now, y'all, for some months. And um, he's been by himself. You know, he was in the 40 gallon by himself for, for like a couple months. Still was treating him, treating him for hole in the head. Now he's in the uh, 75 gallon, still by himself, still dealing with hole in the head. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if it's my luck or, or or me being not lucky, but I've dealt with almost every single every single fish disease once you've had fish for as, as many years as i've had you definitely going to encounter some things and you know i don't know that's why i want to you know i guess this goes for the people that um actually have had these sicknesses and shit like that yompton how does hole in the head start um let's 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 look into that because i had to look it up myself as well so Let's look at hole in the head disease. 
All right, so just typing that in. From Aquarium Co-op, in terms of medication, this is for that's for treatment. Let's see um, what causes hole in the head. And again, this is not a lot of, there's not a lot of information on this, but this is from one, from one site, Fritz or FitzFishPonds.com. It's a blog. Many believe that flagellate parasite named Hexamida is responsible because although it usually affects, infects the fish's intestines, it can spread to other parts of the body like the spleen, the gall, the bladder, the kidneys, and the abdominal cavity. Um, it's hole in the head fatal. Hole in the head, also known as lateral line erosion, is a common disease in both freshwater and saltwater fishes. Hole in the head causes erosion pits in the head and face that are not life-threatening, but can lead to secondary infections. Um, how do you treat hole in the head? In terms of medications, we recommend starting with a broad spectrum broad spectrum anti-parasitic medication like Fritz Paracleanse, which contains both I'm about to butcher these, I'm about to butcher these, metro metronidazole and praziquintel as its active ingredients is safe for fish, plants, and invertebrates in our experience. Um I, I've seen a lot of Oscar fish with hole in the head. Um, a lot of Oscar fish with hole in their head. I've seen flower horns with hole in their head, discus fish with hole in their head. Um, but yeah, can salt cure hexamida? Epsom salt can be obtained in a foot treatment section of the drugstore. Epsom salts are a strong laxative and will flush the hexamida out of the fish. Okay, oh, who said the uh, Epsom salt? Darth Raider, you on point. So apparently you could, um, yeah, so treat with a smidgen of the Epsom salt in the oil. Nope, correction, smidgen of the um, MGSO4, whatever that is, in the food if the fish is eating. All right. Well, temperature kills hexamida. Raw high temp for, for hexamida. Yeah, so uh, 36 degrees to 37 degrees Celsius. I, I can't convert that right now. I got to look that up. For 72 hours is enough to kill great part of the pathogenic protozoans, including internal flagellates. The major advantage of this method is disinfection of the entire tank, including gravel filters, etc. So my man, Darth Raider, was on point about the salt. We had Mickey Singer also on point about raising the temperature. So, so far, raise the temperature. So if you have hole in the head, raise the temperature. I'm trying to find a medication. So what is the best medication for hexamida? Um, yeah, metronidazole or zole. Y'all look at that, y'all. Somebody else, um, y'all probably know how to pronounce that shit better than me. But that's the medication. So any medication that has that works great for a hexamida. So, and this is what hole in the head looked like. It's like lesions. I'm, I'm sure some of you seen it. It's the pits in their head. So, yeah, that's what works for, for hole in the head disease. Oh, here's some hole in the head on a discus stand. Let's see if I could pull back up that picture. Uh, see, that's how it look on a discus right there. And this is how it looks on an Oscar fish. It's fucked up, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Don't really know how a fish being by itself. I don't know how that starts. Like I said, my flower horn has been by himself for, for some months. But nonetheless, I definitely got to make sure that I treat him, make sure that he's good. Um, car parasites lives in the water. So if your fish is immune system, so happen to get weak, then your fish could get sick from my experience. Yeah, car, you on point. Um, I don't really know how the fish immune system could get just weak like that, just naturally. But, you know, um, 
It is what it is. How do you cure saltwater egg in a clownfish? Saltwater egg, or take, I don't know what saltwater egg is. I don't know what saltwater egg is. Or take it, how do you cure saltwater? Oh, ick. How do you cure saltwater ick? Same deal. Um, my go-to, my go-to is either the super ick. Um, I use copper safe. I use copper safe. I, you know, a lot of people don't like using copper with salt water, but I've had some some great success with using copper safe. You know what I mean? Make sure you follow in the dosage. And um, I think it's like four ml for every gallon or something like that. Or every let me grab that copper safe. Matter of fact, I got some copper safe. So this right here is a Fritz product and it's copper safe. Now I love this for salt water. Your ick, velvet, and external parasites. And so the dosage, so you use one tea, one teaspoon for every four gallons. So like I've said, I've had so much success with this. Years ago, I had a gym tang and this gym tang was perfect when I got it. But when I added it into my aquarium, I've never seen it so bad. I've never seen it so bad. And um, I thought he was going to die. And, you know, I kept it took a, such a long time to cure that fish. But all I did was keep using this copper safe. You know what I'm saying? I just kept using that. Um, the, the correct dosage. You know what I'm saying? Keeping that keeping that um, the, the, um, the levels at where it's at, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing about using these copper medications, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is supposed to work for a month, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it treats the water for a month, so you don't do a water change, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's what I used. That's what I used, and it, and, it, and it healed it, you know, and then I was able to put them into, you know, my, my display tank. I bought, prior to that, something called Cooper Mean. Matter of fact, I got some down there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Throw that away. But Coopermine is copper as well. I've used Coopermine a few times prior to that. Didn't really have any, any negative um, negative instances until I added certain fish. I will tell you right now, Coopermine will kill your eels. It killed my, two of my snowflake eels, like immediately, like immediately. Um, it killed my harlequin tusk. So copper is nasty stuff for your saltwater aquarium, but that's also the reason why, you know, the ick and the velvet can't really, you know, live in those conditions. So, you know, that's what I would recommend for the saltwater ick. I would use a cool, I would use a copper safe and uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck with that though. Mario, what's going on? What's going on? Cheers, man. Happy Friday. Cody. Happy Friday to you. I hope, uh, hope all is well. hope your week was good. Daniel, yikes. I thought Hole in the Head came from bad water conditions. Daniel Park, I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing, man. Um, that's uh, that's why I wanted to. That's why we're doing this um, doing this video. I look like I'm, I'm froze right there. Damn, I am froze on it. Um, can y'all hear me? Am I, am I froze? Am I really froze? But... Um, Damn, why am I froze on the screen? What's that? Okay. Well, am I frozen? I'm looking at my phone. My shit is froze right here. Show me froze on this. All right, I guess I'm good. Um, let me get back to where I was. Anyway, so I thought that hole in the head came from bad water conditions as well. That's that's what I thought, but apparently that's actually not the case. Now you get it, press the play button on your phone. Yeah, I mean, I was pushing the play button. The play it was it was froze. Car, of course, man. You think I don't know to push play? Yeah, I'll push play hella times. But anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, my shit was froze. Anyway, 
Um, I thought the, I thought hole in the head came from bad water conditions as well. Um, so now I know that it's a parasite. So now that I have now that I know that I have a better idea of how to actually you know treat you know treat it. Uh, raising the temperature, add some Epsom salt, and find a good medication. Cody, our tiger shovel nose was spinning a couple of days ago. Thought it was his swim bladder, but he stopped and it's just laying on the bottom of the tank. I don't know what's wrong. He's off food too, but was eating a week ago. I'm sorry to hear that, Cody. I don't know what could be going on. It sounds like it sounds like swim bladder issues, just like if it's swim bladder issues. You know, a lot of the times, you know, people don't understand how that shit happens. You know, um, bad water quality could cause that. An injury could cause that. Um, um, a bullying fish could cause that. So. Cody, do you think that your fish was being bullied by anybody? Mickey Singer on the salt tanks. Can you use hang on the back filter? Yes, Mickey Singer. Um, I have a hang on the back filter on my 37 gallon and I have one on my, my new 20 gallon coral tank. Ortega, do you need a copper test kit? I don't even use a copper test kit with this. I did use a copper test kit when I had the Cooper main. I 100% did, but not with this. Follow the regimen. You know, like I said, I have no fatalities with this. You know, some people, you know, they don't like it, um, but I've had zero fatalities with that copper safe. Zero. Part of fish immune system gets weak from stress due to other fish picking on him and water parameters changing too quickly. Yeah, Car, that's, that's a fact. But when a fish is by itself and you're not adding any fish in there, there's no fish to bully it. And you're not changing the water parameters, then what? Then what, car? Once you add once you add copper to your tank, it will stay in silicone forever. Can't use a tank for shrimp or inverts. That's not true. That's not true. Um, that's not true at all, Cody. That's not true at all. I've used copper safe in my aquariums, and then I was able to put inverts in there later on and everything. That's not true at all. That's not true. I've done that many a times, many a times. I use this inside the 75 gallon in the house. And now I still, and, you know, before I added in, you know, the shrimps and all that, my lobster and all that. And now I got lobsters in there. I have hermit crabs in there. So that's not true at all. Mickey Singer, I can hear you, but yeah, that's what I was trying to tell Carr. Yeah, I know you, I know I was freezing. Even right now it's making it seem like I'm still frozen. Um, Mario, what's good with you? What you think about the Aquarian Co-op three-step system for getting new fish? I don't know what their three-step or their three-step system is for getting new fish. What is it? When I when I uh when I when I want to clarify, what's their three-step system? All right, Cody. No, nah, he's yeah. My shit still froze. My shit went right back. Froze again. So. I shouldn't even be looking at this damn thing, but yeah, I'm froze again on mine. And uh, let me show Car since he thought it was funny and shit. Yeah, man, let me check it out. You see that me hitting that? You see me hitting that play button? You see how it's not doing in the car? Yeah, man, shit froze. But um, I'm glad I ain't froze on y'all screen, but I'm froze on this one. I'm froze on this one. You know what I'm saying? And you see? Pushing that, pushing that play button, and then happening. Froze. So I'm glad I'm not froze on y'all. I'm froze on this one. But um, Cody, nah, he's in a tank with two bluegill. I mean, they can nip, but they're too small, so they can't do nothing to hurt hurt him. I think he may have KO himself. Possible. It's possible. Um, you know, these big fish, I don't know what you have in there, but these big fish, they sometimes thrash about, you know, and they hit something. You know, hit that swim bladder. I mean, I, that's happened to me a bunch of times. I, I remember I bought this beautiful big Midas cichlid. Uh, the OGs will remember back in the apartment when I had BG, that orange, very large Midas cichlid. But I bought another big female. And, uh, man, it was it was nice. It was nice. And the, the big one was kind of like chasing it a little bit. You know, when it kind of like swam around the rock work, hit a rock. Died like this in a couple minutes. And then I had some fish that just go on a little rant, just little 
tyrant swimming around hella fast. Bah, 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 bah. You know, I feel like when they do that, sometimes they try to commit suicide. I mean, because at the end of that, you know, they didn't hit something enough times to where they swim bladder, you know, pop or whatever, and then you know they're dead. Ki. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, Cody said, he said, okay, just heard from a couple YouTubers, but shit, they probably wrong. Um, I could only speak from my experience. I can't, I don't want to say that they're wrong, but I could just tell you that I've never had that happen. I've heard people say that didn't really make sense to me at all. Um, didn't make sense to me. Not what, not, not, not a little bit, but from my experience, you know, you could use this and it's going to be good. A matter of fact, you could even use again, the Cooper mean. And clean out that aquarium, let it all let it all filter out or whatever, and you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. But I wouldn't use Coopermine for nothing. I would use that for the toilet. That's it. I would never use that in my tank because I'm telling you from from experience, it killed my eels immediately, killed my harlequin tusk. So I don't recommend anybody uh anybody use that. But what do y'all do for internal parasites? What do y'all do? Does Prazy Pro work for y'all? Just a salt method, raise the temperature. Does that work best for y'all? Rusty, have ever dealt with fish TB? What's fish TB? I don't know what that is. What's fish TB? And by the way, I hope y'all uh, help. Hope if I haven't, if y'all just stepped in here since the last time I mentioned him, man, I hope y'all had a cool week. Hopefully, y'all got some plans for the weekend. I'm y'all don't know this yet if y'all came in a little late, but I'm taking that horn shark back to the fish store tomorrow. It's going right back. I'm not keeping that horn shark. Make sure y'all hitting that like button as y'all come in. Don't just come spectate. Hit that like button for me one time. But yeah, that horn shark got to go back. He's still not eating. He ate the one time. If y'all caught the video, he ate that one time in the container. And, uh, you know, he costs too much to be taking that chance. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, John at the fish store, he said he was eating silver size. I tried silver size. I spent like $70 in the past two days buying so many different varieties of food to try to feed him. I bought, I bought clams in a half shell. I bought octopus. I bought squid. I bought silver size. I bought the chunky diet that they sell packaged up at the fish stores. You know, if you ever see them um, that they have like the creels and uh, the silver size is flat. You know what I'm saying? Regular fish stores don't have that. So I bought that, you know, 70 bucks. You know what I mean? And he's still not eating. You know, he ate one one half clam he had one half clam but you know i can't take that chance i can't take that chance man like while he's still healthy you know i want to take him back no i know i know tb means tuberculosis i just never heard of that happening to a fish man never heard of that rusty let's see it said fish tuberculosis let me look that up then because i've never heard about Fish having TB. Okay, so it says tuberculosis is a very important disease of humans and mammals, but fish do not get tuberculosis. Mycobacterium. Mar Marinum is a non-tuberculosis myrobacterium that causes a tuberculosis-like illness in fish and can infect humans when injured skin is exposed to it. And then another little, it says, what is uh, symptoms of TB in fish? It's crazy misinformation, right? It is commonly associated with wasting loss of body condition, lethargic, and anorexia. Other signs include scale loss, skin ulcers, a dropsy-like appearance, reproductive problems, and a host of secondary infections. And that was from 
catfishvet.com. And what it's really called, it's called my it's called mycobacteria in fish, but also known as fish tuberculosis. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a lot of misinformation that'd be online. But yeah, so the technical term is mycobacteria or myco mycobacterium. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen that in fish. See what it looks like. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I never, yeah, you put me, well, you, you taught me something new. I never, I've never experienced that. I've never even seen that or even heard of that. Yeah, like you said, you that it looked like something that you just gonna you gonna cross you gonna uh cross your fingers and pray, or you gonna hope and pray situation. Cody, I haven't had an outbreak in a while, but when we bought our puffer, we dosed with stress guard and cleaned him out. Okay, that's what that's what's up, Cody. Um, uh, Mario, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I'm in the quarantine, quarantine trio with Marison Ickx. And paracleanse as a preventative, basically immediately medi- meditating with fish. Yeah, um, yeah. You know the thing about that. The thing about that is that I don't treat the fish unless I feel like I have to treat the fish. If I quarantine the fish, right? If I quarantine the fish, I'm just gonna watch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna watch the fish, watch the personality, see it eat. Um, I want to see it defecate. You know, if you don't know it, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll know what defecate means. It means shit. So I watch that. I want to make sure that the fish, you know, feces looks normal. I want to make sure that he's eating. I want to make sure that his personality or, you know, he's swimming the way he's supposed to swim, not swim, not being lethargic. Uh, make sure that his stomach, a, a lot of these things I do at the pet store. A lot of these things I already do at the pet store. Uh, but those are the things that I do. The reason why I don't just dump a bunch of medication in there on the fish is because a lot of the time the fish is already stressed out by the time you get it to your aquarium. And sometimes when you medicate the fish and you put all that medication in there, sometimes you will make the fish even more stressed out. So you'll cause, you know, some problems, but that's just me. Uh, I prefer to watch it, make sure that things are good and treat it accordingly. I don't, I'm not going to just dump in a ton of different medication. I, I don't, I don't do it like that, but you know, Corey has been doing this for a long time and he has his methods and I don't have nothing bad to say about the way Corey does things. I just know how I do things, but whatever works, whatever works. That's why I like to do preventative maintenance and do and just dose the meds once a month. I use micro lift Artemis. Okay, car. Yeah, that might be a good thing. That might be a good thing to just do a monthly preventative maintenance. I don't because I know that sometimes those medications are stressful for the fish. I've actually treated a fish that needed to be treated. And then all of a sudden, you know, it died because of that treatment. You know what I mean? I took the fish out, put it in a quarantine tank, dosed it. You know, it was it was done by the end of the day. Um, Rusty, yeah, it's a bacteria. Yeah, it's a nasty looking bacteria too, Rusty. It wiped out an entire front colony tank of mine. I, I believe it, man. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, at least you got the at least you got the uh, the information on it when you took it to the vet, Rusty. That's a nasty looking disease, man. I, I would never want to have to deal with that. I would never want to have to deal with that. But that's the point of quarantining, I guess. You know, what 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 methods do y'all use when you select the fish at the pet store? When you go and pick out a fish, what do y'all look for? You know, what will prevent you from buying that fish? Obviously, I know cloudy eyes, ick, you know, white spots. I bought fish with ick intentionally before because I really wanted the fish. Treated them, cured the egg, threw them in a the tank. But I don't really recommend people do that. Um, but what do y'all look for? Do y'all have a like a checklist, a mental checklist of things that you look for when you 
are looking at the fish and how long do you look at the fish before you buy it? Daniel Park, I think I remember using API General Cure or Malifix. Can't remember if they work. You've heard some good things with Seachem, Metroplex. Yeah, I uh, I have, I actually have the API General Cure and I stay with Malifix online. I stay with the Pimafix. I really am a fan of the of those products, but um, I don't have any Metroplex. I don't have any Metroplex. Maybe I'll get some. I had to let our bass, Cody, I had to let our bass starve. I know that sounds bad, but I tried for two months, and one day he was right in front of me, and I just knew, and I've been hand feeding him since. That don't really sound bad, Cody. You know, some of these fish can go a long time without eating, and some of them, you know, they take time to eat. So I don't think that sounds bad, you know, especially when in the end of the story, you know, he's been eating, his, you know, and it's even better. He, he's eating out of your hand. So I don't see anything wrong with that at all. I starve fish too. Shit. I mean, you know, I'm not, I can, we can't force the fish to eat. So if the fish, all we can do is try. If the fish don't eat and a week go by, so be it. I mean, I mean, two months is long, but, you know, he's here, he's eating. It's all good. Cali girl, how you doing? Cali girl, fish keeping. Would you ever build a shark pond in your fish garage? Um, I don't have a space for for a shark pond. Um, I just bought the horn shark. I was planning on building, or I'm still going to build, no matter what, a thousand gallon saltwater um saltwater tank. Maybe I could get one bigger. You know, fingers crossed if I change up some designs. You know, rethink some, rethink some things. Maybe I could do that. I would love to do that. Um, but as far as the shark pond, I don't have a space for it. Uh, the biggest area I have is where my 800 gallon is, and I uh, I plan on making that bigger. Daniel Park, me too. I like trying new cichlid foods. <laughs> You're going to eat it till you like it. <laughs> um, as far as the foods, I love that I don't have picky fish. They pretty much eat them to anything I throw in there, whether it's the Hikari uh, floating food sticks. When I had um, API do a little sponsor you know they they slid me some fish foods and they ate all of it you know what i mean um they ate the silver well some eat the silver sides you know but as far as like the 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 dry foods they're not that picky they're not that picky they i used to accommodate the picky fish years ago if the fish didn't like it i just end up throwing the food away but now i'm like man like, I kind of feel like you. Y'all going to eat this shit. If I had to buy it, y'all going to eat it. You know, I'm going to wait you out. You know, you're going to get a little bit every day. If you don't eat it, take out what I put in. But eventually, you're going to eat this. I feel that. But I like to have options for the fish, too. Mario, thanks for your input, sir. How are your discus? I have a planted discus tank with an angel. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, Mario. I appreciate the comment. I appreciate your uh, interaction. As far as my discus, they're good. They're good. Um, I'm trying to find some fish that I could put in there with them. Some dither fish, nice little schooling fish. I was thinking about the rose line, the rose line sharks, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what else. Uh, I wanted to do planet, but the way I got my filter on there, you know, the plants would have to be in the front, and I really would need them in the back. So it's. I'm having a little bit of a problem like that. I really wanted to have it planted, but I don't think I'm going to be able to have it planted unless I do some real reconfiguring. And that's on the, that that's something that's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. And for isn't there some kind of medicated fish food? I don't think so, Daniel. I don't I don't I don't I don't think so. If if you know some medicated fish food, I mean, I'll look it up right quick, but if you know some medicated fish food, let me know. Uh, the way that I used to do it is I would dip the food in the medication or if I do like, um, if I make some fish food, if I make the beef heart or if I make the seafood mix for my saltwater fish, um, 
I would add some of the Prazi Pro in there for internal parasites. So I add a little bit of the Prazi Pro in there. You know what I mean? So when they eat that, they get the medication. You know what I mean? But as far as them just having some medicated food, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not privy to that. But let's see if they have something like that. Medicated fish food for parasites. Oh shit. Hold on, let's see. All right. So the first one that pop up, probiotic, the first one that pop up, see, garlic is also supposed to be a good one. That's why I have like a lot of garlic extreme, but this one right here is a San Francisco brand. I've actually never even seen this one in the pet store, but I, I'm going to go take a look at that one. It's, uh, 20 bucks for it. Pristine energetics frozen PE. Can let's see what's in it? Let's see what's in it and what it does. All right. Um, no, this is actually not a medicated fish food, it's just um, pathogen free. Um, Helps with colors, has essential fatty acids. Yeah, it's not it's not a medicated fish food. So I'm not aware of that at all. But like I said, you can easily make your own medicated fish food. There we go. Here we go. Uh Medicated nutrition, so anti-parasitic RX. Yeah, I guess uh, frozen coral reef safe. But there we go. Doctor G's. Yeah, shit. And what does it treat? Marine velvet coral fish disease. Um. Clown Brook, Brooklynella, clownfish disease, marine ick, and white spot disease. Yeah, I need something that's like for internal parasites. So yeah, you was on point though. You was on point. They do have some frozen uh, medicated foods. But yeah. What do y'all think about Prazi Pro? Y'all have y'all have good experiences with Prazi Pro? All right, quote this predatory fans have a line of medicated and non-medicated fish food. All right, I'm gonna check out predatory fans then. I'm gonna check them out. I like using new spectrum life there with garlic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I usually put garlic any any food that I make, I put garlic in it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll probably put some garlic in the next because the um the flower horn eats silver sides. So I could probably put a little bit of garlic inside the fish mouth, feed it to them, and maybe that'll help with the um, with the hole in the head. Cali girl, the fish store near me in San Diego has a 2000 gallon shark pond with a 450 gallon marine aquarium. Over the middle, it's really cool looking, and it's a great use of space. That sound like it, Cali Girl Fish Keeping. That sounds like it. That's an um, that's definitely a nice ass uh, two thousand gallon. What kind of sharks do they have in there? What kind of sharks do they have in there? Man, yeah, I would love to have a two thousand gallon saltwater uh, system somewhere. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe if I hit the lotto, get up out of here, get a bigger house, get a bigger space, get to start really doing some stuff. Or, you know, hit the lotto with this YouTube shit, you know, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I know one thing. I know that if I was able, I would do, you know, I do the I do the most and the best that I can with what we have. But one of these days, you know, lottery, YouTube pop, I'll make it happen. Ortega Alfredo Nichols, Nicholas. I had a question. I was wondering if I could get things from the ocean and create saltwater tank. I would. I mean, they do that. Um, 
You know, a lot of the fish that's not bred in captivity, that's where they come from. You know, they go and take them from the ocean, you know, and they sell them in a the fish store. You know, if you're in the Florida guys, they go grab it straight from the ocean, put it in their tank. I wouldn't do that only because unless you're going to do a whole system like that, I mean, like everything, I wouldn't do that because you never know what you're introducing into your tank. And um, that's one thing that I would, I would, you know, be worried about. But you never know. I mean, if that's really something you want to do, try it out. Take a hand. Always seen crabs and other invertebrates at the beach, and that got me into salt water. Yeah, I don't even know if it's legal to just do that. I would check with the laws. <laughs> I would check with the laws. I've actually seen people, you know, get snatched up, you know, by by the pot by, the, by like the rangers or whatever. When someone is trying to like collect, you know, the um, the sea life from next to the ocean. So I would just make sure that, you know, you're not breaking any laws. And uh, yeah, that would be my first concern. Cali Girl Fish Keeping, uh, they have a short tail nurse shark, leopard shark. And I think the other two are both bamboo sharks. Plus they have some fish and stingrays in there with them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm we we're gonna talk about that. And I thank you. Really appreciate you. I'm almost I'm almost a 20k. Almost there. Yeah, the YouTube channel is doing okay. It's doing okay. It's been a long grind. It's been a long grind. Um, but back to the nurse sharks in a 2000 gallon. That's you know, I get a lot of I get a lot of flack about my aquarium being too small for the fish that I have, but nurse sharks in a 2000 gallon is, is sad. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I know they probably gonna do something with those sharks, but that's sad. Nurse sharks mm -hmm. get huge. And then <laughs> the leopard shark also get huge. You know what I mean? Like predatory fins. I think they're working on a 20,000 gallon. Last time I checked, I really haven't been watching lately, but I believe they're working on a 20,000 gallon for their salt water. And they got the nurse shark. Um, they have the leopard shark. But let me let me uh let me tell you how big the nurse shark get. The nurse shark gets nine foot, seven and a half to nine foot. That's how big the nurse shark get. Leopard shark. Let's see. And those are beautiful. I love the leopard shark. Leopard shark size. They get up to... I guess it's not that bad. It's still big, though. They get up to about 60 inches. Oh, correction. Four to seven feet on average. With the females being slightly larger. So, yeah, those, those that's way too big for 2,000 gallons. If I did that, man, fish police would come. Woo, woo, they'd be, they'd be on my, they'd be on my bumper. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's kind of that's you know that two thousand gallon is very small for, for those types of sharks. Hell, even um, even Aquarium Domain upgraded his bamboo sharks from the eighteen hundred to the three thousand gallon. Cody, order you a tiger bass from Predatory Fins. They just went on sale. I don't want no tiger bass, Cody. I want that. I want that kale berry. I want that spider kale berry peacock bass. That's what I want. Let's see what that tiger bass look like. I don't even. It don't even matter what it looks like though. Tiger bass. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no way. Cold water fish. I'm cool. I'm cool. If y'all want to know what a tiger bass look like, just a green, green bass. I'm straight off that, Cody. I told you I want that spider killberry bass. I want that. I want that right there. And that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I need to grab from predatory fins. Mario, the fish. I hope you get my first saltwater. 
I hope to get my first saltwater aquarium soon. I've seen seahorses and octopuses. Would you ever get these animals? No, I wouldn't. My, my girl, she wants seahorses, but they're extremely delicate. They're extremely delicate. You need to have a seahorse only aquarium. You need to set up a lot of different vertical types of decor that the seahorses could hold on to. Um, yeah, and they're extremely delicate. You know what I mean? Um, and then octopuses. I was going to get an octopus. I wanted one. I liked Tracy Morgan's octopus. He had a big ass octopus. So I did want a larger octopus. But then I found out they don't live long. And now, honestly, with my setting, like now I know what my what my limits are. You know what I'm saying? I know how much space I have, how much space I could potentially have. And I know what I can and can't do. Like, I want the mantis shrimp, um, but I don't even have a tank set up for it yet. So I need to figure out that before I could get something like that. But as far as an octopus, I mean, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they only live a couple years. So let's look that up real quick. Head octopus. All right. All right. All right. So the lifespan, yeah, man. So the lifespan of these octopuses in the wild and in captivity, they live roughly from one year to five years. When I read that, it just made me say, huh, you know, kind of don't want to, kind of don't want to get one. The normal tank size for an octopus is 15 gallons to 30 gallons for a normal size octopus. Yeah, let's see. Man, they got some big ones in the in the damn ocean though. I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are called. But yeah, so yeah, I I, I wouldn't be able to get an octopus or uh, or or any seahorses. I try to buy fish that live a lot longer. I mean, five years is pretty good if the octopus live that long. But, you know, you got to have a real specific tank for it. You know, they're escape artists. You know what I mean? So you got to have it set up a certain way. You know, and that's not a problem. But, you know, just not my thing. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. If y'all already uh, stepped into the chat, you haven't hit that like button, man, hit that like button for me one time. All right. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Caligo, do you remember what size Tracy Morgan Shark Tank was? That tank guys built for him. That's a um, what size tank was that? You know, Tracy Morgan was you know was tripping for having that black tip reef shark inside of his tank anyway. But um, I could look that up real quick. Let's see. Um, whoa, <laughs> whoa, shit. All right. Um, okay. So, um, as of, there's a couple things that popped up with winter coming, the pressure is on for Wade and Brett to convert Tracy Morgan's entire pool house into a 14,000 gallon aquarium for his shark. Now, September 15th, 2022, when uh, Maven shared the sharks are his favorite, whoever fucking Maven is, probably was Morgan, um, his friend, nope, are her favorite shark animal. Uh, Morgan revealed she has a 20,000 gallon shark tank in our backyard. That didn't really make sense. That really didn't make sense. So long story short, long story short, as of 2022, he has a 20,000 gallon shark tank in his backyard. It even it's even on CNN. Even on CNN. So his is 20,000 gallons. 
20,000 gallons. That's why I said that 2,000 gallon that they got. It's like putting goldfish in a fishbowl. All right, Cody, I'm telling you, Brett, nothing will beat the experience you can provide with feeding aggressive uh, aggression of a bass. And a tiger bass is a hybrid of a northern and Florida bass. If you think Kobe balling, shit, they are. I know. I hear. I hear about the tiger bass. Um, Bama bass. Um, I used to watch Bama bass. You know, they have that five acre pond, and I know they put a bunch of tiger bass in there, hundreds of tiger bass in there. So I know they hit, but you know, um, it's a cold water fish, and you know, to properly keep these bass is like in a pond. You know what I mean? And the pond outside I have is only 500 gallons. And when I upgrade that, you know, I still have koi in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a, a cold water system to keep bass in. On top of the fact, you know, what else am I going to keep? It's just, to me, it's just an ugly looking fish. It's just an ugly looking fish. I did want a bass when I used to watch Catch Them All Fishing. I did want a bass. I did really want a bass when I was watching those Florida guys. But, after seeing the options of these 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 peacock bass, you know, just the coloration, you know what I'm saying? Like the coloration, I really I really admire and appreciate the coloration of the fish a lot more than how readily aggressive it is when it wants to eat. Because, you know, that's just my preference. I feel you though. I feel you. Um. Yeah, I know they're jumpers too, though. Mario, speaking of mantis shrimp, I heard they need thick glass. They have a superpower punch. Mario, um, yeah, that's, I, I've heard stories that they could crack the glass. I don't know how. I've never seen that happen, not in any videos. I don't know how real that is. What's going on, Mexicali Fish Keeper? How you doing? You know, I don't know how, how accurate that is because I don't know. You know, I don't, I've, I've never seen that. I've never seen a, a mantis shrimp break the glass. Uh, but, you know, shit, I see them in small tanks. You know what I mean? I see them in small tanks and not with extra thick glass, small tanks, just regular small tanks. So I don't know if that's just like one of those um, why old wives tales or if that's really accurate. I have no idea, but I still want one. Cody, with a bass being a cold water fish, it means they can survive through winters. You could keep them in your outdoor pond. They need more than that 500 gallon, and they, they damn near gonna have to be in something by itself because I don't want them to try to eat my koi. Uh, Stefan Bates, are you going to get another big dovi? Um, I didn't really get that dovi big. That dovi grew out. Um, when I bought the dovi, I bought them at six inches, and he grew out. Now I have three red dovi. So as these red dovi grow out, you know, I put them, you know, where they're supposed to be. So instead of me start, I'm not going to start over with uh, a fourth dovi. You know what I mean? I have three already. So however these ones look when they get big, that's what I got, you know. But I always want to keep a dovi. I always got it. If I didn't have those red dovi, I would have bought one of those regular looking dovi from, uh, from Twins Aquarium in Stockton. Cody, uh, you know, have to be in the constant cold. I keep hours in 75 degrees to 78, but at the moment I have heaters off for transition for summer temps. Huh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought they had to be in cold water. You just taught me something new. Cali Girl Fish Keeping, I don't like how fake all the Florida Guy fish channels are. I like channels of real fish keepers doing interesting things. <laughs> I, 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 I definitely could agree with that. I understand exactly where you're coming from with that. I used to watch all of the Florida guys, um, and I'm not throwing no shade at nobody, but I used to watch them all. I started off watching Catch Them All. Obviously, you know, since um, Joey was his friend, I started watching Joey Slam a little bit. I started watching Blake, watching Paul, watching – you know, even the youngsters, you know, because they were just doing big things, you know, um, Nick Bingo. You know what I mean? He has that amazing, you know, big pond with, you know, uh, saltwater pond at that, you know, with emperor snappers and eels and all of that predatory fence. That's how I got put on with predatory fence. 
I used to watch them all. I used to watch them all. But, um, you know, over the past few months, I stopped watching. Stopped watching. You know what I mean? Kind of like what you're saying. You know, I like to watch people, real fish keepers that, you know, like you said, that do interesting things, that actually enjoy the hobby, actually care about their animals, and that spend the time to help others. You know what I mean? I don't really want to just keep watching the channel, you know, show me their highlight reel. You know what I mean? Oh, I spent 15000 on this. Oh, I spent 20000 on this. Oh, I spent 5000 on this. Oh, I got this. I got, like, you know, I try to make sure when I'm doing my videos that I'm giving y'all something, you know, y'all learning from me. I'm learning from you. You know, it's a give and take, you know, with the content that I try to put out. Um, but, you know, they doing those channels are doing great, though. You know what I mean? You know, they're in Florida, you know. Um, sunny state, you know, they doing, they doing good. They doing good. But yeah. Hello, I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Friday night. Friday night, y'all. Mark, what's happening? What's going on, Mark? How you doing, brother? Stephen Bates, are you keeping all three or are you trying to get them to pick? I'm trying to keep them all. <laughs> I'm trying to keep all three. You know, they all look different. I, I want them all. I want to try to find a way to keep all three. If I can keep them in the same tank, I want to do that. If I can't, I'm going to have them separated. I don't know how I'm having them separated because you know these Dovi are very, very aggressive. But I want to keep all three. You know, they don't look the same. Man, they look, oh, man, they, they are changing colors like Transformers, man. I I feel like I'm going to na like name one Optimus Prime <laughs> Transformer. One uh star scream and uh what's uh what was the other dude name? Um Megatron. You know what I'm saying? Just because they just keep changing colors. You know, the bigger white one that I had, man, they got some orange and some black all over. Oh man, it looks I couldn't have painted a better Dovi uh, out of my imagination. I couldn't have painted one that looked better than that. Man, shout out to you as well, Mark. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for sliding through. Uh, Devo, uh, how is how's the aviary? The aviary is doing great. The aviary is doing great. The birds are doing great. Uh, you know, we post shorts on it. If you want to see a whole video on it, let me know. Um, the birds not going outside right now. Weather been too cold, but the inside, you know, everything's good. The birds are doing good. Since I got rid of those quills, it's been a lot easier to manage. Since I got rid of all of that dirt up out of there, it's so much easier to clean. You know, when I first set it up, I had a I had a, a thought in mind of how I wanted everything to be super natural. I wanted it to, you know, have dirt in there, you know, grow plants in the dirt. I wanted the big tree in there, big live tree and all of that. You know, um, with birds, they are extremely messy and they shit on everything. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't had, I've never had an aviary, haven't had a bird in 28 years, in 28 years. So I didn't know that going simple, fake is a lot better. You know what I mean? It's easier to manage. Now I have a little sandy area for the birds to go and do their little dust baths and they like that little sandy area. You know, I use the Aspen um, shavings everywhere else. That helps manage the smell. That helps manage a lot of stuff. The mold, it like it don't even get on mold, don't get none of that. You know what I mean? It absorbs all the water when they're doing their little bird baths. So, you know, just learning, you know, as I go along with keeping these birds, but they're doing great. They're doing great. I have four um Goldian finches left, two females, two males. You know, they're doing good. Cold water. Cody says cold water just means the fish can overwinter as long as pond is three to five foot deep. The fish can survive. They are the same as koi. Okay. Yeah. I see you really trying to talk me into that bass, Cody. That's funny. <laughs> You're really trying to talk me into that bass, man. Really trying to talk me into that bass. I don't I don't think I'm gonna get any bass though. I don't see myself getting any bass. If I was in a, a bigger house, bigger yard, and I was able to have multiple ponds. I would. I would have bass. I would have bluegill, the sunfish, channel cat. You know, I would have all of that. But, you know, I got one pond. 
I got one pine and, um, and I want the koi and I want the koi, you know, um, I love seeing the, the colorful fish, you know, just swimming around, you know, from inside the house, you know, I love just throwing the little pellets in. So yeah, maybe one day, like I said, if something pop off, man, if it's something, if something pop off, I'm about to really show you how I would love to do it. I, I, this is what I would envision. If I had, if we had to have the money to do this, I would envision something like a 7,000 gallon freshwater pond in the, for the, uh, for my, for my, for my big fish, something like that. Right. For the salt water, I would want to do something like, you know, three to five, ga five thousand gallons for my salt water. That's for the big predators. For the smaller ones, you know, twenty five hundred gallon. You know, um, for the koi, at least a five thousand gallon. You know what I mean? And then I would still want another five thousand gallon for, um, you know, like the, uh, like some bass, the sunfish, the bluegill. You know, things like that. I would, I would love, I would love something like that. You know, if hopefully one day it comes into fruition, if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, if, if things presents itself in, in a way to allow me to make these kind of, you know, these kind of moves, I'm on it. I'm on it. You see what I try to do with what I have already. You know, we don't have it like that, but we make do, you know what I'm saying? Like people always think that, you know, whatever, nonetheless, with what we have available, I'm doing it to the, my fullest extent. You know, I got two fish rooms. You know, I got the 800 gallons so far. That's going to get converted into something like three times that size. I'm still going to do the 1,000 gallon. I'm still going to build, you know, the one in the corner. So it's like, you know, I definitely do what I can when I can with what we have. You know, never complaining about what we got. Just going to play the cards I've been dealt. You know what I'm saying? I'm a strong believer in playing those damn cards. I'm not going to complain about the hand I got. I'm going to play these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And more instincts. What's good with you, man? What's happening? What's happening? Hopefully your week went cool. Friday night. Yeah, man. What's up? What's up? What else we got? What else we got? They will get to here, man. It's a badass build. Thank you very much. Do I go fishing? No, I don't go fishing. Not anymore. I used to go fishing, but now I just feel like, you know, um, pulling the fish out the water for sport. It's not something that I want to do myself. Callie Girl, I found your channel from YouTube recommending it after I watched the latest Paul Kafaro video on his salt pond. He's the only Florida guy I still watch. Yeah. Yeah, Paul is doing things. You know, I honestly started, Kelly, Kelly girl, I honestly started watching Paul probably when he was like 17. So probably like five years, he's probably like 22, 23. So like five or six years ago, I started watching Paul. And, uh, you know, my son is, 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 is probably his age. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm actually proud of that kid. You know what I mean? He not only, you know, because I remember he, you know, he wasn't even going to school. You know, his parents allowed him to, you know, drop out of school. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he uh he found his own way. He not only found a way in the front door, the back door, and the window of YouTube, like, he really got this shit on lock, YouTube on lock, right? But not only that, you know, he started the, um, the business with the cars, doing raps and all that, buying hella property, things like that. Like, I'm actually proud of that kid. I'm actually proud of that kid. And I definitely see that he cares about his animals and, you know, um, he's a kid, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't even put him on the same level or criticize or judge him as he's some like 32 year old or 42 year old or something like that. Like, you know, he's learning right in front of the world. You know what I'm saying? And he's doing it on such a high level and doing so many different things. Like, you know, I know that he I know he make his parents proud. I know that for a fact. But, yeah. What else we got? Um, Dave, uh, what's my job? What do I do besides YouTube? Or are you full time? So I'm a contractor. Um, I do painting. I have my painting business. I do painting. 
I do flooring. I do um, some electrical. I do landscaping. I do all the handyman jobs. I think I said plumbing. Um, pretty much anything that's, and it's all commercial shit. I really don't like to do residential businesses. I do all commercial shit. So, you know, if they call me to do a garbage disposal, I could do that. If they call me to change out some ballots, I could do that. If they call me to paint some walls, I do that. If they, change, if they call me to um, um, do some flooring, I do that. Wallpaper, I do that. Um, if they say just hang a whiteboard, I do that. So uh, pretty much everything except for I don't I'm not changing out. I'm not rewiring anything. I'm not about to rewire a panel. Um, I'm not about to uh, install new, you know, fluorescent, you know, four tube light fixtures. I'm not changing out no electrical panels. Um yeah, things like that I don't do. HVAC, I really don't touch it because I am EPA certified, but you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of that. Everything that you heard me name, that's enough already. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to do all that extra stuff. Although the money is good on that too, but I would rather um I would rather contract, you know, with somebody else, you know, to do that. So, um I love networking with people, especially us in my area. So, you know, the cast that do that kind of work, have no problem with doing HVAC. I just connected with somebody that came out and did some work on my furnace. So the next time I got an HVAC job, I'm going to hit him up like, man, like, what would you charge me to do? And eh, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, I just somebody just um, on a chat last night, you know, Antoine, he, you know, he's an electrician. So next time they say, hey, we need, you know, these wires ran or. You know, we need the panel, whatever the case may be, electrical jobs that I don't want to do. I'm going to see you. I'm going to hit him up. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, man, I got this electrical job. You know, one of this. How much would you charge me to charge me to do that? Find out what that price is. Work up a quote. Make sure I get mine. Slide him his. We on. So that's what I do. Easy, always dream big, bro. Man, I've been dreaming big since since I was born, man. You know, shit, I grew up in poverty, man. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on Top Ramen's hot dogs and, you know, fucking bowls of peanut butter and jelly because we ain't got no bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I came up. You know what I'm saying? Shopping at the Goodwill, you know? Um, two pairs of school shoes throughout the year, no matter how your shit look. You got to get them. You got to keep them things. You know what I'm saying? That's how I came up. You know what I'm saying? Dad died when I was five. Mom died when I was 15. You know, how do you think I was raised from there? The streets. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I came from that. You know what I mean? I came from poverty like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I always had to, you know, dream and imagine something more than what I'm actually dealing with in order to push me in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? So um, even when I was in the apartment, man, I was talking about this, like the OGs. They know what time it is. You know, that's why they that's why they that's why they fooled me. That's why they respect where I am now, because they remember being in an apartment, having those 225 gallon aquariums and having the things stocked to the max. And, you know, talking about when I get a house, talking about I'm going to build a pond, talking about I'm going to have a fish room. You know, now here it is. I got the fish rooms. I don't I don't just have one. I got two fish rooms. You know what I'm saying? I built a pond in the front yard. You know what I mean? I could have waited and hoped that somebody slid through. I did that myself. I dug that pond in the front yard with a shovel. You know what I'm saying? By myself. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm a big believer. And you got to, you got to, once you dream it, you can manifest it. Turn it into reality. That's, uh, that's my life. Uh, that's my life story right there. The animal is Friday night, straight chilling. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, man. What you got in your hand, man? You uh, you smoking, you drinking, you chilling. What's going on, man? You know, we can talk about it, man. It's legalized, man. What's going on? I got this coffee, this big ass, you know, things like shit. I don't even know how many ounces this is. 30 ounces, something like that. It's like 30 ounces, whatever the case may be. Got me a big ass coffee right here. BZ my own Instagram. I am, but I don't really do nothing with it. I don't really uh my 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 videos don't really do numbers. I don't get no likes on that thing like that. You know, I need that encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Like I need to see that the people is is receptive to what I'm putting out. If I see that, it's motivation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, 
man, the comments are going crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is motivation for me. If I got on here and I wasn't getting feedback from y'all, it's a little discouraging. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be talking to myself. So I need that encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if I get a little bit, if I see that y'all fooling with me, if I see that it's being received and the way that I'm trying to put it out, I'm on it. I'm on it. But, you know, my Instagram don't really do no numbers. Don't really do no numbers. My TikTok, though, it'd actually be cool. It'd actually be cool. My TikTok is growing faster than, you know, growing faster than the YouTube channel. In a minute, I'm going to have more followers on TikTok than I got subscribers over here. And I've been doing this for like five years. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All the above. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's a, that's a, that's a good time, man. Yeah, I appreciate you sliding through and uh and fooling with me, then, man. I appreciate that, Mario. Hell yeah, look up to your hard work and determination. Hard work pays off. How much you benching right now? <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> nice segue. Um, yeah, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, man. Hard work, man. I ain't never been afraid of hard work, man. You know, shit, I work hard as hell. You know what I mean? But that's why I expect that reward. You know what I mean? When you put the hard work in, it's okay that you expect to get something out. It's never okay to expect to get something out of putting in minimal work. You know what I'm saying? That's never okay. You know, you put the hard work in, expect to get something in return. As far as me benching, I just be working out with that. That's like two... 235, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, be hitting that, you know, like, you know, five sets of 10. I'm trying to, once I get up to, you know, on a good day, I was I was weak today, but on a good day, I'll do like five sets of 15. Once I get that thing up to doing like five sets of 20, I'm going to crank that shit up. I'm going to put back on the 265 and start back over. And uh, I'm trying to get back to working out with, with 315. The max that I've ever benched, was four was 415 that was some years ago that was some years ago matter of fact i even probably got this shit in my phone right here and um i think it was 405 i mean let me not lie i think it was 405 but um i think it's in his phone right here squatting you know the squatting i think was it was the uh was the 415 i did lift 585 before that might be in here too um uh, shit that's a picture right there um i know i got it on facebook i know i got it on facebook but yeah i used to go crazy in the gym <laughs> let me see i might have it i might have it but yeah, I'm trying to get back, man. I'm I'm so out of shape. I'm so out of shape. It's ridiculous. I didn't work out for like two years plus, you know. And you know, muscle got memory, but shit, man. You know, with 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 lifting weights, easy come, easy go. You know what I'm saying? That's that. Uh, it's almost like artificial blow up. Like you get hella big, hella strong, hella fast. But if you don't keep it up, that shit just goes. Uh huh. Can't find it on here. Yeah, I, it's on Facebook, though. It's definitely on Facebook. I don't want to hold y'all up looking for hella long. Uh, Mark, you're very helpful and knowledgeable. You're a great speaker and educate a lot of us. Thank you, Mark. I really appreciate that. There's comments like that that keep me motivated, keep me going, man. I really, I really appreciate those comments. Y'all don't even be having to drop that shit to me. So the fact that y'all actually do take the time to, you know, speak that encouragement, you know, give me that feedback, man. It's, it's 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 appreciated and respected like a you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go ahead and look, I'm gonna go ahead and look for that uh, real quick though, Mario. Let me see if I can find that. I'm curious too. I want I want to show off a little bit, man, because I'm definitely out of shape. What else we got? Cody, bro, you need to get the lives in the fish room. Or get you a green cloth for one more cloth section. You have a green screen. You can review things. And we can see. Oh. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, the problem, the thing about doing the lies on the live stream. So in here, look at that, man. I wish I could show you. You're right. So in here, man, I got the big, I got the big uh what's that? 32 inch right here screen. Got the laptop right there. 
Mm -hmm. You know, I got the mic right here. That shit was off to the side. I should have had it right here from the gate. I got the mic right here. You know, when I do it inside the fish room, I don't really have all that luxury. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, maybe the next time. Y'all want me to do the live in the um in the fish room the next time? My grandpa ran a couple marathons. He's been running his entire life. He ran a marathon, San Francisco Marathon, Boston. He's crazy. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's motor, that's motivation right there. That's motivation right there, man. Shout out to your grandpa, man. Shout out to your grandpa. All right, here we go. Yeah, it won't even be. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, it's not there. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? How much was I struggling right there? That wasn't nothing. That wasn't shit. Okay. Maybe in this one. But yeah, y'all want me to do the live in the um damn, where's all my shit at? If y'all want me to do the live in the fish room the next time, then I'll do it in there. Last time I was doing it in the fish room, I don't know if y'all remember last time I did the live in the fish room, I was trying to like show y'all around, show y'all everything. And it just you know, every time it like made it freeze, you know, the quality went down. But if that's what y'all want me to do, you know, I could definitely do it. And as far as getting me a nice little green screen, I had, I could get one of those. But, you know, I'm still I'm still learning how to how to do all this. <laughs> that's when I was leg pressing shit. How many places is that? That's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's eighteen plates. When I, I was leg pressing eighteen plates on that in that picture. That was what year was that? Damn, can't see the year. All right, but yeah, man, I used to be a beast, man. I was a fucking monster. I was trying to uh I was trying to get into powerlifting, man. I was trying to get into powerlifting. But um yeah. Just didn't work out. Didn't work out, but I, I think I'm close. There we go. Doing the rows. That was for the row. Had had all them plates on there. Six plates on each side. But I know I'm close to that damn video. I got two videos. Actually, it's, it's a good three. Where we at? Where we at? Come on now. Yeah, no luck. No. No luck. I don't know what happened to him. When I find him, I'll definitely show you. If, if it's not in this live, I'll show him to you next time. But yeah, I was, you know, had a little help for the 405. Didn't have to have anybody grab it or nothing like that. But it's always good to have a spotter when you're hitting a new, a new PR. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that, uh, I don't know how it's not on here. But anyway. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yep. All right, Kelly girl, definitely from the fish room. Also, what is your live stream schedule? Um, my live stream schedule is kind of just up in the air. I don't really know when I'm going to do it. Uh, it's just based off my mood. Uh, I'm, I'm terrible with, with making plans. You know, I love to be on my time. Um, that's why I haven't done some live streams with some other other YouTubers because I have to tell them a certain time. And it's like, damn, what if I don't feel like doing it at that time? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to be I got to be feeling it, you know? So it's always it's always more often than not. It's going to be at nighttime. Um, but I'll start I'll start solidifying a time. It's just it's just kind of hard for me to. For me to dedicate myself to a certain time, only because, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to feel at that moment. 
But yeah. So yeah, next time from the fish room, I set it up in there. And uh we could make sure we're looking at some fish. Probably would be feeling probably feel a whole lot more comfortable than this uncomfortable as bar chair. This chair is so uncomfortable. That's why I keep on moving. Let me show you what this chair. This is a raggedy ass. This chair hurt. This is what I'm sitting on. That's what I'm sitting on. This shit hurt. Hurt. So at least in the fish room, I'll have that, that nice couch I can sit on, prop my feet up, and really just chill with y'all. What y'all getting into tonight, though? It's kind of late. It's kind of it's like nine. Anybody got plans? Any got anybody got plans for the weekend? Y'all buying any buying any fish? Doing anything different? What y'all what y'all plans are for the fish? All right, yes, sir. Six plate. I'm with you. Let's get back on to our prime and be a better fish hobbyist. Facts, Mario. Facts. Jr. Rivera, touring other states and their local fish stores. Ever been an idea for you and the fam? Um. Uh, not really, not really. Um, there are some places that I did want to slide to, but I don't even have anybody to watch all of this. You know what I'm saying? I don't have anybody to watch all of this. Uh, so that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. You know, nothing is automated. Nothing is automated. Matter of fact, speaking of automated, let me make sure I don't have any water going. Check. I'll be flooding shit sometimes. All right, cool. I'm not flooding nothing. Nothing's on. But yeah, I don't have anybody to um to come over and take care of all these animals. If I had, if I had, you know, somebody to take care of all these animals, then I could definitely um then I could definitely do something like that. Yeah, Cali girl, this chair is uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> Man, this chair is uncomfortable. I'm already flattening the seat. Yeah, hey, look at this. Look at this. That shit is, shit is nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's this chair is uncomfortable. So next time, yeah, we're gonna do it in the fish room. Um, it's just a lot. I'd have to put the yeah. I'll make it work though. I'll make it work. I have to put the table in there, gotta bring my mic, and um uh, yeah, that's really all I gotta do then. It's not I guess it won't be that bad. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. It'll be a little bit better. Midnight there where you are. Okay. Okay. Well, I, man, bringing in a new day, man. Bringing in a new day with your partner, man. I appreciate it. Listening from Australia. It's daytime out there. Damn. What time? What time of day is it? You know, heck yeah. Fish room live stream will be sick. Yeah. Yeah, but you do understand it's it's gonna still be like this. Like I can't really grab. I'm on, I won't be able to grab the laptop and and move it around and show y'all everything though. But yeah, I definitely will do that. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. I keep on seeing the the people that come in. I see it fluctuate. So if y'all haven't hit the like button for me, hit that like button for me one time. Even if you're gonna dip up out of the room, you came in, hit the button. Hit the button. All right. Let me see something, though. But yeah, man. If y'all haven't answered that question about the... Uh, I'm about to still look for that for that post. You don't know, I think. With like one tank or the pond behind you just chilling with chat. Yeah, so more, more than likely, it's going to be that big pond behind me. It's going to be that big pond behind me because the couch is facing that way. Or I could even turn the couch around and then we could have it where the, uh, the 225. It's all good. Oh, and it's midday. Okay, okay, okay. Happy Saturday to you then. Happy Saturday to you. Jay Rivera, how's a new structure coming along for the freshwater plywood tank? Man, it looks exactly the same way that it looked before i haven't touched it i'm not going to touch it pretty much leaving it alone for now um 
I got to break it all the way back down and redo everything. So that being said, I'm in no rush to do that. I'm thinking about reconfiguring the whole setup. You know, I originally wanted it to be a corner tank, be six foot tall. But now I'm I'm thinking that I want to do something different. So since I got to do something different, um, I'm just going to take my time. I'm just going to take my time with it. I don't really have any real reason to um, rush into that at the moment. Uh-huh. Do some outdoor mini ponds for some videos. Those are always dope. Put up some nice guppies in there. Man, I can't, Cody. Man, I'm telling you, you don't remember I was telling you about the raccoons? I can't. I can't, man. Damn raccoons. I can't even have a whole lot of different water, uh, water sources for the raccoons to come to. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the raccoon right now that's been going to the going to the koi pond. Thank you. What's your favorite fish and what is your wife's favorite? Uh, my favorite fish, it has always been the dovi. My favorite fish has always been the dovi. Uh, I started recently liking my arowana a lot more. Kobe is a Kobe is sick. And as far as Aida's, let me ask her. Let me ask her. Hey, what's your favorite fish? <laughs> I was going to say the cowfish. Okay. All right, so Aida's favorite fish is the longhorn cowfish. She really, she really likes the longhorn cowfish. Damn. What about yours? What about yours? And does that mean it may turn into a saltwater pond again or sticking with the freshwater? It's gonna stay freshwater. It's gonna stay freshwater. Um, I just need to rethink the design because remember I was gonna do the thousand gallon salt corner tank, the pie. Well, if I didn't have the one fifty right there and a seventy five gallon right there, I could do something from that 225 all the way over to the corner. You know what I mean? I have some other options. So it still has to be fresh because I have some fish that do get really big and that probably will not be able to go together. So I just need to keep that in mind. But um, that's the reason why I'm thinking about reconfiguring it because you know I probably wouldn't have to go and spend or go buy 500 pieces of two by six by eight boards um to build it if i made a stand and then went up four foot or something like that you know but the fact that i want to go six foot the fact that it's the dimensions that it is you know it's making it to where i have to go ridiculous you know what i mean i gotta spend a lot more money than i would because i have everything um it's just it just might be more problematic. It might just be be more of a more of a problem than what it's actually worth. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of like where I'm at with it. I just need to figure out if that's really what I want to do. And sorry I keep looking down, y'all. I'm trying to find a damn post from like shit five years ago, six years ago now. Might even be longer than that. Get you a BB in the headlamp. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you, I'm definitely gonna get rid of that raccoon. It's not, it's not gonna last. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that. Steel power the punts always do good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
Mine is a little crazy looking. Yeah. Okay, the cow followed by Kobe. Yeah, the um the cowfish is nice. The cowfish is nice. Um, we had one, and I had a Potter's Angel. Man, y'all remember? Y'all remember Hollywood? Hollywood was was my fourteen inch. Uh, man, it just. Let your imagination run wild with a play doh. Yeah, Hollywood was my uh, was my first stars and striped puffer fish. It was a beast. Damn. Cody or can cat food and have a heart trap. Or your local animal control, but I say you just go full of gilly sniper. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of it myself. I'm gonna have to take care of it myself, man. They um they told me that it's six hundred dollars to come and grab that raccoon. Six hundred dollars to come grab that raccoon. So that, that's not gonna work. I'm not doing that. Damn, I can't believe it started me over. But yeah, Hollywood was sick, y'all. Hollywood was sick. I'm over here. Man, I post I used to post a lot on Facebook. I used to post a lot on Facebook. Damn. Come on. Yeah. Damn. October 16th, 2020. I was at 400 subs. Yeah, exactly. $600 to come get that raccoon? Hell no. Nah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Damn. Take it back. Y'all remember? Y'all remember that tank with the red sand? Some of you do. Some of you do. That was my female Dovi and my male Dovi fighting. They did not like each other. But yeah. Yeah, I've been doing this for a minute. I had Cody. I, I had a M. I had an MBU puffer. Um, and shit, man, man, there go red skull right there. My red out of Bapo. Man, red skull was sick. I had an MBU puffer. I had an MBU puffer. Am I damn? The zebra eel. Yeah, I, I want another zebra eel. He was a beast, man. He was he was big. He was big. But yeah, I had an MBU puffer and it got ick. It got ick because I had it in there with with those African pikes and it kept on eating. Um look, here you go, Cody. See that bass? I had a bass, man. A bass and a bluegill. Four years ago. And I don't know what happened, but they died really quick. I thought it was because the water temperature was too warm. But yeah, they died really quick. And then, like I was saying with about the MBU puffer, I used to feed the African pikes goldfish. And, you know, unfortunately, he got um, it, you know, from always, you know, having those goldfish in there. And that's when we got tests right there. Four years ago. Look how small test was. The size of my pinky. Hell a little. Yeah. Can I put a bicer in with African cichlid peacocks? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Make sure you got a nice lid on that thing so he don't jump out. But you definitely could do that. Mario, how's my turtles doing? Miami is doing good. Mister is doing good as well. They're actually doing really good. I damn near want to get rid of Mister, though. I damn near want to get rid of Mister. I'm not getting rid of Miami. 
That's the worst ones. A healthy looking fish just die out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's Miami right there. That's Miami and Clyde right there. That's how big they were when I first got them. Hell a little. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. And then in a minute, I'm going to be able to show you that MBU probably. Going back, looking at all the posts. And that's how I used to feed the, the African pikes. So, yeah, that's what y'all talking about. I need to have that green screen so I can pull it up and show you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. It definitely make things a lot easier. Going down memory lane and shit. But in a minute, like I said, I'm gonna be able to show you that uh man, I miss these setups. It's a trip how the price went up so high on these fish, right? Remember how cheap the gym tang was a few years ago? $350. Yellow tangs. Now you can't even get them unless they're locally bred. It's insane how the prices went up. Uh just wanted to What's going on, J Double A? Appreciate you. Thank you for sliding through. Yeah, I got a Jaguar Sickler to my 240. So I got one male. I got one male Jaguar Sickler. Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. So that right there, it's, it's, a little, it's a little ugly. That's 530 pounds for the um, for the deadlift. Watch how easy this was. Easy. Easy. That was easy. Yeah. So I thought it was a little bit more than 5.30. 5.30. Oh, yeah, and there we go. To, I knew I was going to find it. Here we go. I'm about to show you all that good four, that good 405. Come on. Hold on. All right. Let's about to replay. There we go. 405 right there. Yeah, I was like 235 pounds right there. Yeah, it was hard. That was on a Monday. It was on a Monday at lunchtime. Yeah, so I knew I was going to find that shit. And then there's the six plates. It's easy, easy work. It's just light. So when Ma, so when cats be like, man, was you on, are you on steroids and that? No, nah, man, like I used to be big. I used to be hella strong, hella big, no steroids. You know, pre-workouts, creatine, uh, uh, whey protein. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Easy money. You know, but um, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been, you know, been at that point. That was, when was that? Let me see. That was, <sighs> That was December 13th, 2016. And then the other video when I was bench pressing, that was March 28th, 2017. And then when I did the deadlift, that was April 26, 2017. Damn, seven, almost seven years. Crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah. Yeah, J, yeah, J double A. Yeah, get you one. You want the male over, you want the male over the female. The males, y'all, you know what the male look like, right? You know, with the scattered spots. The males is nice. Get you a nice male Jaguar. Yeah. Shamu Aquatics, what's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? I've been fortunate enough not to have dealt with disease outbreaks since 2016. Knock on wood. Well, knock with you. I'm going to knock with you, man. Good thing, man. You know, it sucks. It sucks. 
you know, but I'd be, I'd be alive. I said that, you know, I don't occasionally deal with certain shit. Um, I don't really deal with it unless I'm getting new fish, unless like the parameters change or anything, something like that. Um, I don't get, I don't deal with internal parasites unless it's like a new fish. Um, you know, yeah, but the hole in the head, man, that one got me stumped, man. Um, I don't know what happened. And right on, Mario. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, definitely used to be a monster, man. I appreciate that. Red, what's good with you? What's good with you, man? I appreciate you stopping through real quick, man. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. That's what I'm talking about. I got 40 likes, 21 people in the room. I appreciate it. You know, uh, man, you know, like like Jay-Z said, man, less is more, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather have, a real, I'd rather have real 18 people in this joint than have 118 fake people up in here, man. So, man, I appreciate all of y'all for sliding through. I definitely appreciate everybody that has contributed to the chat. You know, I haven't been able to stop talking since this thing started. It's an hour and 46 minutes in. Y'all be making this time just, man, I I know from the, from the chat, like, we can fuck with it in real life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's how I feel because the way that the conversation be going and we just, you know, so the fact that everybody in different parts of the, you know, different parts of the world, I really respect how, you know, how we could come together, you know, and just talk about something that we both enjoy. We're both passionate about, or should I say all of us, but man, it's uh, it's real solid, man. It's real solid. Yeah, I appreciate that, Guido. I appreciate that, man. The thing is, you don't even got to support, though. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you do, you know, is not only humbling for me, but it's really appreciative. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when I tell people in the comments, like, man, I appreciate it, I really appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I come from an era where, you know, I remember my mom used to always tell me, you know, don't nobody owe you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody owe you nothing. So I always feel like that, you know, don't nobody have to support. Don't nobody have to, you know, um, show any kind of consideration, compassion, things like that. So when someone does those kind of things, you know, I, I definitely appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know nobody has to do anything. Don't nobody have to hit the like button. Y'all don't have to come on the chat. Y'all don't have to do that. So the fact that you do, you know, the fact that you comment, the fact that you contribute, man, I really appreciate that, man. Seriously. I hope you're a UFC fan real quick. What's your favorite fighter? Or who's your favorite fighter boxing too? Yeah, I love I love UFC. I love UFC. Um <laughs> my my fight my favorite UFC fighter used to be Conor McGregor. Used to be Conor McGregor, right? But um, you know, I like John Jones, man. I like John Jones, man. He's really methodical. You know what I'm saying? He don't get all um I like when I see how he's fighting. He's calculated, calm. You get what I'm saying? He's not all erratic and shit, man. He's timing like I like John Jones as far as boxers. You know, I'm, I was always a Mike Tyson fan. You know what I'm saying? And then also Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Once I learned the the the, the real skill set and the artistry of boxing, which is don't get hit. You know, the reason why people used to hate Mayweather is because, oh, he's always running. He's always running. Man, Mayweather wanted to retire without having any problems because he got hit in the head hella times. Who said that, you know, to be a good boxer, you had, it had to be a slugfest every time? Giving and taking punches. Like, no, nah, man, like, the thing is, I want to be able to, I'm going to hit your ass and you're not going to hit me. You get what I'm saying? So I like that. I like how Mayweather box. What about you? Shamu, are you, uh, are your 240-gallon tanks eight-footers or six-footers? I have one 240-gallon aquarium, and it's an eight-footer. It's an eight-footer. Eight-foot by two-foot by two-foot. But, yeah, Mario, what, uh, who's, your, who's your favorite boxer? Your, your, um, your favorite UFC fighter? Did y'all come up off of wrestling when y'all was a kid? Did y'all watch wrestling? Y'all was y'all used to watch WWF, huh? Cody, send me a video of the bass eating. Facebook. Who 
what's y'all favorite wrestler coming up? All right, I'm about to check it out right now, Cody. My favorite wrestler coming up was Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> and Undertaker, yeah. Undertaker was the man. I used to love Undertaker when, you know, the black and gray. You know, black and gray Undertaker. Not really the black and purple. Black and gray Undertaker. And he said John Cena, though. Stone Cold, man. What about Stone Cold? Stone Cold Steve Boston was the man. All right, let's see. Ooh. I wonder if I can show the chat. All right, let me show the chat. Let everybody else see, too. Ooh. Tiger Bass. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I seen. I seen. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. And it's super clean in there, man. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, who's I? Hey, Cody, who was I? Was you talking about you talking about Stone Cold? Man, Attitude Era, man, that was my time, man. Degeneration next, man, that was my time, man. You know, I used to also like the rock. I used to also like the rock, but you know, it's different, different generations. You know, I started up, you know, I used to like Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. Um, who was it I really like? I used to like the Macho Man, um, you know, then, then a little bit later, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, um, Vader, Adam Bomb. You know, it's a whole lot of people I used to I used to really fool with. I still watch the w YouTube clips of WWE, Undertaker, Triple H, The Rock, Brock Lesnar, Stone Cold. Yes, sir. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar was for sure a GOAT. Yeah, yeah. What you think about them just um like getting rid of all like like wiping Brock Lesnar off of WWE entirely because of his case? You think that was right? How you feel about that? I think that's I think that's fucked up. Stepping base wire on my Oscars trying to kiss. They yelling at each other. It's a trip how you see Oscars just yelling at each other. Yeah, they they might be a you know shit. I don't know if one is a male, one is a female. You know, sometimes they just have these little these little spats. The bloodline storyline isn't bad right now. You're right. You know, I have I have like seen a little bit of of, of, of the storyline. You know, with with the bloodline with with Roman Reigns. I was kind of mad when uh, when Jimmy Uso left them or whatever. Um, I really don't like. You know, I really don't like. What's the other one named? The younger brother, Solo. I really don't like Solo that much. I really don't like Solo that much, and I don't really like Jay Uso. I respect the fact that he's from Frisco, but I really don't like Jay Uso that much. I used to like them when they were um, when it was uh, Dean Ambrose, it was Seth Rollins, The Shield. When they were The Shield, I used to like I used to like that little storyline. D Generation X, though, they, that was, I think that was, like, one of the best storylines ever, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they used to have hella fun. They used to look, they look like they used to have hella fun. Have hella fun. You know, and that's when they used to do um, do Vince McMahon bad. But, yeah, that's when I was, like, at 98, 99. You know, I couldn't wait to get home from school, you know, and watch, and watch wrestling on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, Stephen Vance, one of them is bothering the other one. You might have to separate them. You might have to separate them. Cause the pool filter and a basket of blah blah rock was what I was rocking with before we got the catfish, and I put three 75 gallon sponge filters for more oxygen. Yeah, your um, your pond looks really good, Cody. Your pond looks really good. Uh, Mario gotta be. GSP came, Velasquez. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, George St. Pierre. I like George St. Pierre too. Cain Velasquez. Okay, okay. The Diaz brothers. Uh huh. And boxing Mayweather and Canelo. Okay, okay. You know, um, I was just watching um, Andre Ward on Breakfast Club, and he was talking about how Canelo, not that he's overrated, but you know how he run, how he's ran for, he's ran from some fights. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. You know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that any of that shit. But yeah, yeah, that makes me think a little bit different about Canelo. They were saying how Canelo should have fought Andre Ward. Um, but Andre don't really feel like that, but he thought he felt like that he should have taken some other fights and he didn't kind of ran from him. Jay Rivera 316 is the goat hands down for a fact. I was, man, I was, man, you know, I was so mad when Owen broke, broke, uh, Stone Cold's neck. You know, I feel like that's part of the reason why we didn't get Stone Cold longer. You know what I mean? Even, even. You know, watching the documentary and hearing about him talk about it, it was for that reason, you know? For that reason. You know, we almost lost Edge like that. Edge is another good one, you know? And uh, can't forget about Kane. Kane was a was a beast when he first started. When he first started and he came out, you know, with that mask on, and, man, Kane was a monster. Shamo Quiet, I wish I was into wrestling during the Attitude Era. Yeah, Brock has been off TV because he was named as being involved in a scandal with Vince McMahon. No, man. Um, it's not even a scandal with Vince McMahon. It's, um, let me, let me look it up real quick. I feel like it has to do with, um, with a woman. I feel like that's what's going on with him. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. Let me see. Hold on. I was. Okay. Remove. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're right. What the fuck? What the hell? I'm going to have to look into this. So what the hell is a lawsuit with Vince McMahon? Yeah, that's how far removed I am from it. I didn't know that. So what? So quickly, I'm I'm pretty sure you know what. So what happened with him with uh, with Vince McMahon? What what was it? Damn, damn, Shamu, you put me on. Yeah, they definitely treat him like Chris Benoit, man. I'm mad about that too, man. Chris Benoit was man was the rapper Wolverine. I, I used to really fool with him. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, Cody says I like Silva before he broke his leg. But McGregor is my favorite. I like McGregor because he's cocky and he does his thing in the in the in the, in the octagon. Yeah. Shama, okay. Mario, remember Stone Cold? Do Bret Hart out of the Royal Rumble? I don't remember that. I don't remember that. But I do remember that Bret Hart was a crybaby though. Shamu, even I barely even know the details. Okay, okay, Shamu. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look into that, man. I thought it had to do something with with a female or something like that, man. But yeah, that's crazy. Cody, I think they need to make more documentaries on on wild freshwater fish. It's really hard to find documentaries on freshwater fish. Agreed. Shamu, Aquinas, I don't support cancel culture unless it's people waving. The Confederate flag, flag, inbred flag. In most circumstances, <laughs> we the fans still want to see Brock Lesnar in the ring. Agree, agree, <laughs> agree. <laughs> yeah, man, that was, that's the only time. That's the only time somebody should be canceled, man. Also, if there's like a, a like a rape allegation, well, 
not a rape allegation, a rape conviction. Uh, probably shouldn't even be saying that on the live. But anything like that, anything that's like assault against women, you know, I definitely feel like, like, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go. You know, that's when you need to get canceled, you know. I feel so strongly about that. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, we about two hours in, y'all. We about two hours in. And um, it's 9.39 here. I need to give give my uh, my significant other some time before before uh, she get ready to go to bed. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this live. I really appreciate everybody that's been chimed in, that's been contributed to the conversation. And, uh, man, I, I definitely appreciate y'all's support. I hope y'all have a safe night. Enjoy yourself, you know, and uh, we'll do this again. Try to do this again tomorrow. Like I said, I'm getting rid of that, getting rid of that horn shark. Because if y'all missed that part, Tomorrow, that horn shark's going to be out of here. And then I'll tell you why when I let you know what I get instead. But y'all have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.